without spending too much time introducing you to Live Better Talks, I'm going to invite up on stage our first speaker. This is probably the first time I'm going to be here. When the guys told me that I'm going to get to interview this amazing woman, now I got a couple of butterflies in my stomach. She's played over 50 different roles. She's been on radio. And for me, she kind of is an archetype because I also work on radio. And she's someone that I really look up to, who's been able to pave a way for herself in the media industry in South Africa. So please put your hands together for Sis Batisandar. For me, um, I work on radio as well. I've worked on a bit of television. Yeah. So you are literally like my archetype. I look up to you, literally. Stop putting pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part about your journey is that You've taken a journey that is not the perfect journey, but it's a journey that's taken you to exactly where you want to be. And I also assume that you're still building on that journey. The journey started in December. Yeah. Uh, I, I was fortunate to be be exposed to television in December. Yeah. Uh, we moved abroad. So, I was in the morning, and it never changed from that point. And all I knew in my mind was that when I do it, yes. I want it to be different. I want to make a difference. Because I spoke English. Because I English. I saw people about Ndaba. That was not the real driving force. Yes. Ufun in Abba. <clears throat> Sorry, Ufun. But I had that thing. But na le nindinga tindinga yens. Funu yens anai. But everyone and the funa yo ile yaba mandro. But pictures ela yape a TV. So to cut a long story short, umtu okulele pimtat ewe nguala. And because I came, there's a because of opportunities as a Johannesburg. Yes. Abo, oh, go out on TV one. Oh my God, so fika ni ni man ba. But I need to find a way on get now because if nega ndio actor. Yes. Kwa be koni radio trans guy. My brother was working there. The day mzuke if nega kun fake man ba. If nega funde zanda ba ba. TV trans guy, it's not going to be easy. Did you know, but when we say men's band, they fight. So eventually, what we did was for uh, an audition. Yes. Bafuni presenters and yes, no bago to an bago present on come di ayakeba. I got there and. There were people, obviously, who come to film as a TV, and I thought, "Yo, iten ngatazu balu langelen." When you manage to figure the shine and the belu la le process, so I was auditioned, uh, and I walked out of there thinking, "I saw the film and I'm gonna land." Ben Matil, when you want to get a bit fresh. A couple of weeks later, I got to know my phone was all present. I was like, yeah, now it's a little bit more religion. Yes. These are yens I lend to the best of my ability. And the yas bans are yens and jan bans are yens. So they had auditions for news readers, uh, Metro FM. And I thought, that's where I need to be. I auditioned with Jane Higgs, what he, you don't have what it takes. Yes. You don't have the voice. Metro is a big platform. Yes. You're not going to make it. You can imagine, I did Kobe, Radio Trans Guy, I've done this thing, Radio Bob, Bob TV. Ngogu, to hear that you don't have what it takes. 
So now you come home. Come home. Wong Umdu is has something to say. You can hear the voices even though they're not really there sometimes. Yeah. And it's all in the body language at times. Exactly. Right. Um. So now during that time, there's obviously a couple of things that you're saying to yourself to charge yourself up to go back to Joburg. What are those things? What are you saying to yourself? How are you re-motivating yourself? And what relit the fire for you to go? Let me go again. The one thing that's always been there is it. Indoyo actor for me was not just it. It, it was growing, Gokuba. I need to do this thing. It's like I have to feed this monster yes. so that I can calm down. So ibingati indwaso eti lubiso. You know, so there's something bigger for you back Gladjo Bank. Yes. People need to see you. People need to see you do this thing. Yes. And you know they're going to applaud you. So that's all that was playing there. I can't fail when I have not shown what I can do. Sure. Even if it's once. There's only one person who I must try again is my mother. Uh, I don't know how... She had a stroke at the age of 48. But her, her spirit was so strong. You saw a life. So I'm not fully able to keep on trying and trying and trying again. Mm, mm, mm. And every time I hated narrating to her the burdens as a job bag. But for some reason she would listen at ya why is it betuna kai betuna betuna who's so she was a very strong woman. I was surrounded from her side, especially very strong people. So you do not have the choice to fall and not get up. I mean, I did this thing so many times. And I'm sure Abanya have heard my radio interviews. Talent is It's fine. <laughs> So fuck makeup and bam back. And I think now with 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 the time your social media, I can't ignore the role played by viewers in saying to me you are on the right track. Just sticking to my principles, you know, and being true to myself and you know, just just being honest. What also helps me is that when there's a lot of a lot of noise and negative noise, I work very hard to block it out so I can focus on what it is that I need to do. There can be a lot of negative noise that can just put you off and you could find yourself losing losing track. So the best is to just keep it simple, keep it clean, and just keep on going. In vision for myself, I have this goal, and I want to celebrate at the end, Nditi. I worked hard. I did it my way. So I must just focus and carry on on this course. So, <clears throat> and coming back home, I mean, you can imagine. I'm to bank bele beku vanga pananga. Aye, na angula. See, me khaudin. You know, your self-confidence, your yes. self-esteem, they go right down. But it's like you have to learn those things so that when you go back, so Toby le kwakonuba. How do you handle or navigate the industry?
bekukhe kwathiwe kumgwatwa uye goli uzofika bebaninzi abantu abayenzayo but deep down i had this thing ma but now i want to do it differently yes um the advice i would give to um young and upcoming actors is that it's a tough industry it's not for you to just be famous if you really want this thing it's got to be something that comes from the gut and your heart and it's something that you've always wanted not for the fame but to work and hone the craft look from past experiences i'm growing i'm growing in that department and i think the one thing we should tell young actors is that it's really tough so start planning financially from your first gig and the nice thing is that when you get your first gig you're probably staying with parents or you're staying in a place where you're not paying rent so start saving from that time start planning financially from the first gig that you get because it gets tougher from that very first gig it's just blocking out the noise simplifying your life trying to get off all the mental clutter clear head you'll make sober decisions and exercise and drink water it plays such a huge role and especially when we have people from different industries coming to talk sharing their stories I always think my story is like a oh, yawn but if it touches somebody's life and has a positive impact it's like the battle has been won I mean like today my experience was I had so many people saying I'm so inspired I'm like what inspires you about my pain you know but that you're able to say to people you can get through to the other side and it gives them hope and courage i'm really honored i was asked to come and share my story today